Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Ann buckley Reen. Welcome to our new YouTube series that's being produced in collaboration with New York City Schools and the Fund for Public Schools and our Get Ready Project. Each week we'll be bringing you a 15 to 20 minute yoga practice. We'll post a new practice each week and the practice will be yours to practice all week long. We're going to build on our practices week by week and we're going to start today with a little stretch and strengthen. You'll get used to the flow, so come get on your mat, spend some great time with us, notice how you feel in your body and brain once you've completed your practice. Let's begin by just sitting comfortably on our mat and we'll prepare for some warm-ups. So once we're settled, let's begin by gently moving our head from side to side and then up and down. Now let's move our shoulders. So let's bring our shoulders up to our ears roll them back and bring them down. Let's do that again. Shoulders come up to our ears, roll them back and bring them down. Now let's bring both arms up and overhead all the way up in the air. Let's stretch first to one side and then over to the other. bring our arms back up to center and let's do that again let's stretch first to one side come on back to center and then over to the other side now let's begin our practice with a seated forward bend so stretch your legs out in front of you let's sit up straight you're right on your sit bones. Reach your arms all the way up overhead as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, fold forward, reaching for your feet, your ankles, your lower legs, and look forward. If your back is tight, bend your knees a little so you can fold forward more easily. Keep breathing. On your next breath in, bring your arms all the way up and then down to your sides. Let's do that again. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up all the way up over your head. As you breathe out, fold forward, reaching for your feet, your ankles, your lower legs, wherever your hands land. Remember, keep your knees bent if your back is tight, your back of your legs are tight and keep breathing. On our next breath in, let's bring our arms back up overhead. And then as we breathe out, let's bring them down alongside our body. Move now onto your hands and knees into table pose. And we'll get ready to practice cat-cow. So once you're ready, making sure your arms, your hands are directly under your shoulders and your knees are right under your hips, you look just like a table. Let's arch our back and look up and then curl and look at your belly. We'll do this with our breath. So breathe in and arch and breathe out and curl. Again, breathe in and arch. Breathe out and curl. One more time. Breathe in and arch. And breathe out and curl, looking at your belly. And finish up in table pose. 
Now let's do a runner's stretch. So we'll bring one leg back, putting our toes on the mat, stretching that leg out behind us and looking forward. Now bring that knee back down to the mat and we'll prepare to do this to the other side. So let's stretch out our other leg, toes on the mat, leg is stretched all the way out and look forward. And come back down to table. From here, curl your toes under and let's push back and up into downward facing dog. Try to shift your weight towards your feet. Keep breathing. And on your next breath out, drop your knees back down to the mat and push back into child's pose. Extend your arms all the way forward and breathe. Let's do these two poses again. So come back up on all fours. Let's curl our toes under. And when you're ready, push back and up into downward dog. Keep breathing. Try to keep, bring your feet as close to the floor as you can. On your next breath out, drop your knees back down onto the mat and push back again into child's pose. Bringing your arms all the way forward, turning your head to one side or the other and just breathe. From here, let's slide forward and put our belly down on the floor. We're going to prepare for Cobra Pose. So place your hands under your shoulders, palms are facing down. Keep your elbows in close to your body. When you're ready, Lift your head and upper body as you breathe in. Try not to push with your hands. Try to just lift your upper body with the strength of your upper body. And breathe. Now slowly lower back down onto the mat. Turn your head to one side or the other. And keep breathing. We're going to repeat that one more time. So when you're ready, bring your head to center, place your hands, palms down under your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, and when you're ready, and on the breath out, let's lift our head and chest up into the air. Keep breathing. breath out, let's lower back down onto the mat. And now let's push back again into child's pose with our arms outstretched in front. When you're ready, come back up on your hands and knees. We're going to push up again into Downward Facing Dog. Keep breathing. Count your breaths. On your next breath out, slowly come back down onto the mat and push back once again into Child's Pose. Now let's turn onto our backs. So roll over and we're going to practice knee to chest pose. So first we'll begin by hugging both knees up to our chest. Hug those knees 
And if you like, on your next breath out, you can lift your head like you're giving your knees a kiss. Or you can keep your head on the mat. Let's stretch out for a moment. And then we'll do that again. So when you're ready, bring both knees up to your chest and hug your knees in. Take a deep breath in. And on your breath out, if you'd like, you can bring, lift your head like you're giving your knees a kiss. Bring your head towards your knees. Or keep your head on the mat. And breathe. On your next breath out, lower your head and legs back down onto the mat. Stretch all the way out. And we'll prepare for reclined spinal twist. Let's begin by hugging our knees to our chest. And now keeping both shoulders on the floor, we're going to drop our knees over to one side. I'm gonna drop my knees to the right. Turn your head all the way to the other side. So I'm going to turn my head to the left and stretch out both arms at shoulder height. This is a nice spinal twist. Let's keep breathing and hold this pose for a couple of breaths. Inhale. Let's do this again. Hug our knees up to our chest. Both shoulders are down on the floor. Drop your knees now over to the left or to the other side. Turn your head the opposite way and stretch your arms out at shoulder height. Keep breathing. Come on back to center. Now let's hug our knees in one more time. And this time, we're going to bring the soles of our feet down onto the mat. So our feet are as close to our buttocks as we can get them. Our knees are bent, and we're going to have our arms stretched out alongside our body. Let's, when we're ready, push down into our feet and lift up clasping your hands under your back, really using all your core muscles, and breathe. We're going to hold for a couple of breaths. Next breath out, lower yourself back down onto the mat. Stretch out your arms and legs. Arms can stretch all the way overhead. Legs stretched all the way out. And let's prepare to do that again. So hug your knees to your chest. Now place your feet on the floor as we just did. Arms are alongside your body. When you're ready, push down and lift. Clasp your hands under your lower back if you can and keep breathing. breath out, slowly lower back down onto the mat. Stretch out again. All the way out. And now let's bring our knees to our chest one more time and do some hip circles. So rock all the way one direction, doing some nice circles with your knees, and then we'll go in the opposite direction, and back to center. Let's stretch our legs all the way out. Let's relax our arms alongside our body, and let's prepare for a few moments of deep relaxation. So close your eyes and bring your awareness down to your feet. 
tense your feet, point your toes up towards your nose, and then down to the floor. Up to your nose, and down to the floor. Now tense your feet, squeeze and tighten the muscles in your feet, squeeze, 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 and then relax and release, and let your feet just melt into the mat. Let them soften, let them relax. Now bring your awareness to your legs, from your ankles, to your knees, and from your knees up to your hips. Let's tighten up all the muscles in our legs. Squeeze those muscles in our legs. Squeeze and tense. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tighten those muscles, and then relax and release. Let those muscles soften. Let your whole body relax. From your hips to your toes, let them just, all those muscles soften. Let's bring our awareness to our belly. Place your hands on your belly and notice the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe in and out. Now bring your awareness to your arms, your hands, your shoulders. Let's make a fist with both hands. Squeeze and tense those hands. Tighten those hands. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and then relax and release. Let those arms just melt alongside your body. Bring your awareness to your back. Notice the feeling of your back on the mat. Tense the muscles in your back for a moment. And then on your next breath out, let any tension float out of your body. Relax even more deeply onto the mat. Bring your attention now to your head and neck. Swallow any excess saliva in your mouth. Soften your mouth. Open your mouth and bring your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Relax your cheeks. Soften your jaw. Relax your eyes, your eyebrows, and the point between your eyes. Relax your forehead. Relax the top of your head, the sides of your head, and the back of your head. Scan your body from your toes to the top of your head and notice if there's any part of your body where you're still feeling tension. Breathe into this area. Bring your attention here release any tension that you're still holding. Now when you're ready, slowly make your way up to sitting. We're going to conclude our practice with a final spinal twist. So sitting up with our legs crossed, we're going to bring our hand across to the opposite knee. Take a breath in, sit up straight, and now twist as you breathe out looking over your other shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, and we'll do that to the other side. So let's take a deep breath in, sit up nice and straight. Bring our hand across to our opposite knee. And as we breathe out, let's twist and look over our other shoulder. Inhale, come on back to center. Let's seal in the benefits of our practice by clasping our hands behind our back. Take a deep breath in, sitting all the way up straight. And as we breathe out, let's fold forward and seal in the benefits of our practice. Inhale, come on back up. Thank you for joining us for today's practice. Have a wonderful day.